All right, folks, what you see before you is the ultimate must have for any autocross, road race, Pikes Peak racer, any Volkswagen enthusiast, any type of Volks rod enthusiast, or a sand rail enthusiast, or any type of car connoisseur that likes off-road cars, street cars, road rally race cars, uh, like I said, Myers, Manx, Doom buggies, hot rods, street rods, rat rods. This is it. This is the ultimate bad boy, the must have. It is 100% street legal. It is equipped with a clean, clear Arizona title in my name. It is registered to me here in Arizona. It has a VIN number. It is equipped with all the necessary safety equipment to be roadworthy. It has headlights, which include high beams and low beams. It has turn signals. It has driving lights, parking lights, brake lights, tail lights. It also has a parking brake. It has horns. It has seat belts. It is registered. The only thing that doesn't work on it is the reverse tail light does not come on. I think it might either be a bulb or a switch. I just noticed it. Haven't got around to taking a look at it. But this is the ultimate must have for any type of car connoisseur. Um, these sand rails are coming back. They're way safer than any of the new Polaris razors out there that catch fire or the Can-Am X3s that cost $40,000 plus or Robbie Gordon Speed UTV, which is coming out and gonna have a two year waiting list probably or the YXZs. This car is extremely safe. You can drive it here on the freeways, the roadways. You can drive it on the back fire roads, the sand, the snow, the dirt, the grass. If you want to go in the sand, just change the tires or let the air out of these tires. But I'm going to go over the whole car here for you to show you. It is equipped with a Volkswagen high performance motor. It's a very, very fast little car. Um, like I said, it's a Volks rod. There's no AC, no power windows, no power door lock. So what you see is what you get. It has its typical little, you know, scrapes and scratches here, but it shows very, very well. Very unique car. And the great thing about this, if you're not into Volkswagens, you can pull the motor. It is uh, four bolts, four 17 millimeters, which I will show you right back here. And all you have to do is disconnect your fuel line. This is your fuel pressure regulator right here, but undo your fuel line and your throttle cable right there. And it's four 17 millimeter bolts that go to the transaxle. And you can pop this out right underneath the frame here and uh, pull the whole motor out. You can sell this motor to any Volkswagen enthusiast, anyone that likes uh, bugs, beetles, buses, uh, type one, uh, the notch backs. Uh, this will go in one of those Porsche replicas or the uh, VW Doom buggies. But you can actually do a motor swap in this. There is a company called uh, Kennedy Clutch Adapters or Kennedy Engineering, and they make the adapters here for the transaxle in the back. They're about 450 bucks, and you can go from a 2.3 liter Ford Thunderbird LX motor with a turbos. You can do Mustang 2.3 little four cylinders. Um, you know, you can go all the way to V8s. If you have the money and the means, uh, there are people that do it here in Arizona, which I can recommend. Don's Bus Box does the Chevy Ecotex, which are in the Polaris Slingshot, the 2.4s. The older ones were the 2.2s and the 2.0s that were in the uh, Taz cars out of uh, ATV racing here on Deer Valley Road. Um, they also did the uh, Chevy Malibus, the Pontiac Sunfires, the Saturn Skies, and the uh, Pontiac Solstice. Um, you know, if you have the means, you can do a V8, you know, a little road race, Pike Peaks, uh, Pike Peaks uh, mountain climb with a little Buick uh, 218, I'm sorry, 215 V8. You can do, um, you know, a Subaru motor. Those are really cool. EJ20s, you can pick those up about seven, 800 bucks on eBay or an EJ25, a 2.5 liter, uh, you know, 250 horsepower out of a uh, Subaru Legacy or an Outback. If you have the means for about a thousand, 50 bucks on eBay you can pick up the uh I like them the uh J32 type S's out of the Acura or the Honda 3.5 or J35 they're uh, 300 horsepower they put them in Honda Pilots and the uh Acura MDX's they have forged internals about 9,000 rpm redline the 3.5s go for about 13 1400 bucks on eBay you can get the 3.2s for about a thousand bucks with the wiring harness. Then you get your um, adapter for the clutch there for the transax, which is about 400 bucks. And then just put in your radiator and about a day's worth of work. You can pull that motor out and sell it all day long for 35, 
hundred bucks, four thousand bucks. You put in a uh, Honda with 300 horsepower or a uh, Subaru, 250 horsepower, and you'd have a wheelie machine. You'll smoke Mustangs and Camaros all day long. Like I said, the sky's the limit if you don't like these Volkswagens, but I'm gonna go over the car here for you. I'll fire everything up, show you how everything works. It's turnkey, ready to go. You have an electronic fuel pump. So you turn the key on here, you can hear the fuel pump. The car comes on, great oil pressure. Oil temperature a little cold right now, your RPM gauge. Dual exhaust, brand new coil, brand new distributor, uh, your fuel block off valve with your fuel pump because it does have electronic fuel pump. Here is your electronic fuel pump, your fuel pressure regulator, inline fuel filter, the uh, remote oil filter kit with the remote oil cooler, which is an upgrade, and then the breather kit right there into the heads, as you can see right there for the breather box element. Uh, your twin Monza exhaust, your fillets, uh, oil cap right there, Weber carburetor. So I'll go ahead and show you right here. Go ahead and turn on your headlights here for you so you can see the headlights come on. There's your headlights. And then you got high beams and low beams, so there should be your headlights right there. Oh, let me turn on the headlights, I'm sorry. I turned them off. There's your headlights. Headlights are on, your parking lights. I'll go ahead and show you the left turn signal. There's your left turn signal. Left turn signal right there. And your right turn signal. Right turn signal. Your right turn signal. And then go ahead and give a little bit more gas here. And then you have your twin Hella rally style air horns. They're super loud. Here is your horn button. So you can hear those bad boys. So it's super, super loud. That'll piss off your car that's in front of you if they don't go. Um, you know, it's definitely loud. You can actually disconnect one of the negative wires on either or so you only have one but i like both of them uh these are 15 inch z28 wheels with chevy brakes four wheel brakes those are 1982 to 1987 irock z28 wheels four wheel brakes has your master cylinder and then right there is your brake proportioning valve so you can use that for road racing you can actually adjust the pressure for the front or the rear for going around corners. Your master cylinder, adjustable coilover shocks all the way around, adjustable front beam. You can lift the front of the car up. You have a sway bar. The car handles like it's on rails. Your full glass windshield, your seat belts and seats. And to prevent theft, if you go anywhere, you can remove the steering wheel, take it with you. You have your empty trigger, sh uh, empty trigger shifter, your parking brake your fuel shutoff valve to prevent theft or if you roll over to catch fire. Also, you like I said, your fuel pressure regulator, you can turn that off. You can pull the negative coil wire here for the coil or the center wire for the distributor. Uh, you have your fin up there, you know, which is removable, your spoiler. But it is an awesome, awesome car. Tons of upgrades, upgraded clip-on or actually bolt-on valve covers there. And then the strap there for your transaxle. And then underneath there, the uh, support for the transaxle um, tons and tons of upgrades the car will accommodate someone up to about six foot four or six foot five i'm 230 pounds i fit in the car extremely well at six foot uh, two you have your rear view mirror your passenger mirror anything you want to do if you want to do a motor swap you know i can guide you in the right direction if you wanted to do a v6 or like a honda you know you can do a little a crx motor a little b16 you can pick those up or f20b on ebay for 6.99 and then buy your adapter kit. You don't even need a um, wiring harness because they're uh, carbureted. If you want to go do a K20, those are awesome motor, 8,000 RPM redline. Those are about 2,400 bucks, but this is a no reserve auction. It always turns heads. Teach your wife, your daughter, your son how to drive. Um, it always is a blast. You can drive this thing. It's super reliable. It gets great gas mileage. It is a, a no reserve auction. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. You can stop by. I will take you for a drive. I'll let you drive it. If you have any questions about shipping, I can guide you um, or recommend shippers. 
shipping's very inexpensive. Car probably weighs about a thousand pounds. So it is a no reserve auction. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out for me or reach out to me and uh, thank you and good luck.